All right, so we're moving on. We're going to the dip. So um, we're going to start this progression. Um, we're going to go kind of easiest to hardest in the, uh, the dip progression. So we're just going to start everybody, and let's just talk about push-ups, okay? So we've already learned the push-up in our, our movement quality circuit. Um, but what we want to do is just uh, reinforce that if we don't have dips and they come up in a workout, we can use push-ups as a scaling option. So we'll get the, get the folks down and have them do about five really good push-ups, okay? All our standard progression here, tight belly, good tight glutes, touch the chest all the way down the ground, drive back up, okay? Good. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move to a box with our feet on the ground, okay? Now, once we start getting people into this kind of dip position, our goal is to really get a good shoulder position. So if you look at Aaron's top shoulder, we want them to go as low as they can without getting a big roll forward with that shoulder, okay? See how he rolls that shoulder forward, chest up, back, good internal rotation, and up, okay? So that's our second progression, okay? We'll go box, okay, with the feet out in front, straight legs. Now we can, uh, you can also, we're not gonna show up, but you can also have them bend their knees. It's gonna make that just a little bit easier, okay? Our next progression up is the box dip. We're gonna use two boxes now. We got them set at uh, the 30 inch height, okay? Uh, and Aaron's gonna get in, the two, in between the two boxes. He's just gonna use his feet for assistance, okay? So, let's move to the right a little bit. All right, it's kinda hard to see there. But Aaron's knees are directly under his, uh, his shoulders. If, uh, and that's, that's what we want to get. We want to get knees directly under the shoulders. Okay, still watching that shoulder position. Make sure it's not rolling forward. Okay. Okay, common faults on this, guys, is people are going to be way, put their feet way back behind them. Okay. All right, that's not, that's not optimal there or way out in front of them. Okay. Yeah, same thing. If we get those knees underneath the shoulders, we should be in a, in a good position to get a really, really good shoulder position on this assisted dip. Good. Okay, then we're going to go unassisted on the boxes. All right, so we're still stationary. Okay, use these two boxes right here, our little stack. Okay, he's going to go up. going to keep his feet off the ground. Down. Drive up. Again, watching shoulder positioning. Let's come to the side. Watching shoulder positioning, trying to not let it roll forward. Good. And then the very last thing, we'll just move on to the rings. The distance the two boxes need to be apart is about a forearm's length or a little wider. Finally, we move to the rings. Okay. This is our last progression. If folks can do this, we'll have them get in the rings. You guys go down. Tight right back up okay so remember guys we're going from stable to unstable on this so if people can't do a dip without on the boxes if they can't hold themselves on the boxes without assistance they don't really have any business being on the rings okay uh that's it thanks